O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. It is that time of year when we think about the reformation of the church that happened starting in 1517 with the, with the posting of the 95 Theses on October 31st. And when we think about the reformation, it's helpful to think about it as a reformation of doctrine, that is a reformation about worship, that it's a reformation about education, and that it is a reformation about everyday life. We start, of course, with doctrine, and I can't help but think of Jesus' words here in his prayer to the Father from John 17, sanctify them by the truth, your word is truth. There were actually a lot of reformations going on in the time when Martin Luther was living, and there was a reformation in the Roman Catholic Church, which was a reformation of piety. It was trying to control people's actions, and that fit very well with the medieval idea that you could do good works to get into heaven. It was it was actually concerned with getting the corruption out of the church. Uh, some radical reformers thought that the true reformation would be a political reformation, that the, the kings, the princes, the states would be the one that would drive this reformation, and that happened in the Lutheran Reformation as well, too. But what Luther and the Lutherans understood was that this was a reformation about teaching, about doctrine, precisely that the doctrine of grace alone through faith on account of Christ alone was the key to scripture and that anything else was a distortion that led people astray. And so if you go to the word, this is what you find. It's only when you add things to the word and twist the word of God that you get yourself into trouble. When you start adding things like good deeds that would give you salvation or praying to the saints or going through certain ceremonies just by going through them that somehow you would get credit, you can add purgatory to, to that list as well. And so the word the one that is truth, the one that sanctifies us, that was the center of the Reformation. It was a Reformation of doctrine, and that means it was a Reformation of the Word. Go to the Word, and there you find the comfort that Jesus paid for your sins. Oh 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.